Hey everyone, welcome back to our continuation of our animated smiley. Now if you were with me last time, we had saved this and done this little, the head shape of the smiley face, and uh, you should have pretty much what I've got here. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. we got a lot to do here in this segment. So what we're going to do first is create the face So in the eyeball here. So what we're going to do is create a new layer, and in that layer we're going to grab our elliptical marquee tool and create a nice little shaped eye like so and in that we're gonna fill that with a white I'm gonna deselect that and we are going to in our blending options and last time what we did was in our blending options we right clicked and clicked left clicked on blending options but this time I'm gonna show you another way to get in your blending options so you can just double click on the layer right here like so double click it and it will bring up the same thing now with that uh, brought up let's go ahead into our inner inner shadow here in our inner shadow I want to get into the options and I want to change this opacity to 50 percent and the distance to 2 and I want to OK that and that looks good now what we want to do is create the color part of the eye so let's go ahead and create a new layer and with our elliptical marquee tool already selected let's go ahead and create that nice perfect circle by holding down the shift key using the space bar to move your selection around and there we go now I'm going to color this a blue color so let's go ahead and you can choose whatever color you would like for this it doesn't matter and that looks good about right there and I'm going to fill that like so and I'm going to add a little stroke around the eye and to do that I'm going to of course we'll just go ahead and double click on this thumbnail layer again or thumbnail again and in our options here we're going to go down to stroke and I'm going to change the pixel to 1 and the color to oh, about a darker blue here to kind of give it a nice little shade there. And I'm going to OK both of those. And that looks good. Now what I want to do is I want to add a pupil in the middle. So what I'm going to do is make another selection like so. And I'm going to hold down the Alt key. And I'm going to make that, or the Shift key rather, sorry about that. And I'm going to make that and move that to the center like so. And we're going to fill that in with black. Now I don't have the black on my uh, foreground or background so I'm going to show you a real quick default uh, button that you can click which is right here. If you're new to Photoshop this will be good for you and if you need to switch your colors foreground background like so and the shortcut keys to do the same thing is D to um, default and X for to switch your foreground background and what we want to do is we're going to fill this in to fill the foreground and we're going to hold down the alt key and hit the space bar or on the Mac alt and delete and we're going to simply deselect that like so and I'm going to actually we're pretty much done but I want to make a little shine to this in the eye here a little reflection so to do that we're going to switch our foreground color and background color so we're going to use the shortcut key this time hit X on your keyboard and there you go and in our, if you got the brush tool selected, go ahead and simply hold down the left mouse button and choose the pencil tool. And up here in our options, we want to change this to make sure it's at one pixel by 50% hardness. And okay, and I just want to make a little couple spots in the eye, nothing too much. Like so, that looks good right there. All right, so our eye is done. And what we need to do is we may need to make another eye, unless you want to make a you know, uh, Cyclops, that's up to you. So in our layer 5, what we're going to do is click on layer fly 5 and click on layer 3 like so. And right click and go to merge layers. Now it's all one. If we click on this eyeball, it's kind of funny how this is, we're working on an eye and this is the eyeball here and it will make that disappear. So let's make create this name here and name this eyes like so and what we're going to do is create a new layer or actually create another layer duplicate layer of this so we're going to actually go ahead and click on our move tool up here and hold down the alt key and shift bring it straight across like so and that looks good right there and so we've got our both of our eyes over in our layers and we want to bring these two layers together so we can just kind of organize and clean up our layers here so let's right click and merge the layers like so now it's looking good we want to create the mouth and we want to create the eyebrows so let's go ahead and create the mouth to do that we're going to create a new layer and in that new layer we want to make sure we got the elliptical marquee tool selected and let's go ahead and make a shape like so that looks good about right there and let's 
make that fill that in with black deselect that and that looks good now what we're going to do here is I'm going to create the eyebrows and we needed to create another layer and in that layer we can actually we could have actually taken a duplicate of the mouth and done the same thing but um, I'm going to just do it this way just because I guess I feel like it so <laughs> we're going to go ahead and create another shape pretty much like we just did and I'm going to fill that in with black like so that looks good and we're going to duplicate this once again so uh, another way you can duplicate this instead of just using the alt and shift key you can um, go to this layer and drag it down to a piece of paper like so it doesn't look like anything happened but it did if you use your arrow keys or your move tool you can slide that right on over like so so that looks very good okay now let's go ahead and uh, pretty much our face is done but what we want to do is create another part of this face for the animation so before we could do that let's go over to our layers and kind of clean this up a little bit these two layers are right here are eyebrows so let's go ahead and merge those layers together like so and I'm going to name them eyebrows so that just kind of helps me better and makes my life easier so let's go ahead and create a duplicate or a, we're going to create a group folder so down here we're going to create a group folder and group all these into that folder like so I'm going to just click and drag into that group folder there we go now I'm going to click on this little arrow to shut that um, the folder there and I'm going to leave the name group one but we need to make a duplicate of this layer so let's go ahead and do so like that and I'm going to name this layer group two now I'm going to go ahead and click on this arrow to bring open up the layers in this folder and I want to affect this layer and this layer. So let's go to the mouth layer first and we're going to just go on that layer, it doesn't matter, and we're going to just go over our old mouth like so and that looks good. And we're going to fill that in with black and I'm going to actually just add a little depth to this so I'm going to go into my blending options and go into my bevel emboss and I'm going to click down that looks good and OK that and I'm going to create a tongue now to do that we're going to create a new layer and use our elliptical marquee key tool again and create like an oval shape right there it looks good and fill that in with a red like that okay and what we want to do is we want to create we want to bring that layer over like so to create another one that looks good and I'm gonna go into my blending options and I'm going to give that an, a bevel emboss as well uh, oh whoops before we do that we need to take these two layers and merge them together like that now we can go into our blending options and choose that bevel and emboss like so and we've got that going now what we want to do now is we want to create the eyebrow part of this and to do that um, it's going to be a little bit different but I'm going to show you how we can get that going and we're simply going to go ahead and create a new layer and grab our elliptical marquee tool and I'm going to just create a circle like so and fill that in with black and I'm going to deselect that to kind of show you right here we want to affect this area but not this so let's go ahead and do so like that and delete on our keyboard and we'll clean up some of this mess we're going to use our eraser tool and we can kind of go over that and that looks good and we're going to duplicate this layer by holding down the alt key and shift and bring it over and go up to edit transform and flip horizontal and adjust that a little bit and we're going to go to our other layer right here and turn off the eyebrow actually get rid of it drag it down to the trash can and there we go there is our eye or our other part of our face here excuse me so this is all the time we've got so, so uh, stay continued for our last segment where we do the animation thank you for watching and see you next time